WWE matches in 2022 impossible to break yeah man it's something about short matches it, it just it, it, it makes you think what's going on creatively behind the scenes like who thought it would just be the greatest idea to have a match be like maybe a minute long or maybe even 30 seconds man like like who does this benefit does it benefit the fans depending on the match i don't know uh it's just i don't know i've never really been a big fan of it i sometimes i i get why they do the short matches maybe to i don't know maybe to bury someone or not bury someone uh, uh, uplift another talent i don't know it's just i feel like if your match is like less than five minutes then why are you even out there <laughs> i don't know it's 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 weird when wwe and not just wwe other wrestling companies tend to do that i don't know how it benefits the wrestlers that's involved but i don't know but we're gonna get right into this one man appreciate all the love and support you guys were showing on the channel and let's check out 2022 has matches. been a year of extravagant changes for wwe it's also seen some epic matches take place from Sheamus versus Gunther at Clash of the Fantastic Castle to match. Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul at Crown Jewel, 2022 was full of insanely good encounters, but it also saw its fair share of total squash matches, with several matches not even passing the one minute mark. Which is wild. These matches were either designed to highlight one specific wrestler, or they were drastically hindered by time constraints. The matches on this list relate to matches that have taken place on the main roster, so matches that took place on NXT TV have failed to make the cut. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the top 11 shortest WWE matches of 2022. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive sure lists. Also check out our new man. channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 11, Hit Row vs. Legato del Fantasma on SmackDown, 1 minute 22 seconds. A 2022 saw the WWE return of Hit Row to the SmackDown brand. Mm -hmm. They acted as one of Triple H's first rehires upon the game taking over WWE creative. The only issue with their return is that their former leader Swerve Strickland is yeah. under AEW contract. This meant that the return has kind of fallen flat and the group has struggled to connect to the audience. Mm -hmm. This was apparent on the October 14th, 2022 edition of SmackDown as the stable lost in 1 minute 22 seconds to Legado del Fantasma. This match was Legato's first match on the main roster, oh, yeah, so naturally I WWE Creative thought it was I didn't even realize it was that short. Impact in their first match. Number 10, Jinder Mahal and Shanky versus the Viking Raiders on SmackDown in 1 minute and 15 seconds. Jeez, it's bro. crazy to think that Jinder Mahal is a former <laughs> WWE champion as he's had a downright terrible 2022. Yeah. This year alone, Mahal has lost virtually every match he's wrestled in and seems set to be an enhancement talent for the rest of his days in WWE. Which is wild to say. Their plans for Mahal were fully on display in the summer of 2022 when he teamed up with Shanky to face the Viking Raiders on SmackDown. Mahal and Shanky lost in just 1 minute and 15 seconds, making this specific match the shortest WWE tag match of 2022. Damn. Number 9, Gunther vs Drew Gulak on SmackDown, 1 minute 4 seconds. A WWE have hit a home run in 2022 when it comes to the main roster call-up of Gunther. At first, there was serious concern that they would present yeah. Gunther as a joke, but Gunther, particularly under Triple H's creative vision, has become one of the top stars on the blue brand. This was evident in May when Gunther squashed Drew Gulak in just over a minute. The best thing about <laughs> oh Gunther is that he can look menacing in a one-minute squash oh match, or he can have 30-minute classics with the likes of Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura, as he's truly one of the best talents in all of WWE. Number 8, Ronda Rousey. I am very happy with what they're doing with Gunther, man. I was very, I so rightfully was concerned when he uh, debuted on the main roster. I just had a feeling this was not going to end well for him. And actually, I, I think there were reports that Vince wasn't really about to utilize him correctly. But things worked out the way they did, and he's been used very well, and he has made the Intercontinental Championship seem that much more important. And I've been enjoying the matches he's been having for that title. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, very, I'm on board with what they're doing with him, man. Love what they're doing with him. Even though he hasn't really had any squash matches. Like, he hasn't been squashing too many people. He's actually had some hard-fought matches. Uh, so, I, I can appreciate that. Rousey versus Raquel Rodriguez on SmackDown, 55 seconds. 
are following a return to WWE at the Royal was Rumble. This their first Ronda match? Rousey's I think second this... run has received mixed was this reviews. Their first match? Rousey has struggled with that character's identity, and this is like. And I'm Rousey... talking about Raquel uh, uh, Rodriguez. Was this her first match? Because I remember they had a match for the SmackDown's Women's Championship, and that was their first time going against each other. I don't know if that was this match they're talking about. Be returning as a babyface before transitioning into a more well fitted heel. Rousey's feuds with the likes of Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan have failed to garner any true excitement, and WWE fans have been questioning if Rousey's heart is truly in it. Nevertheless, her match with Raquel Rodriguez happens to be one of the shortest matches of this year. Their match in May lasted just 55 seconds before interference from Natalia oh, and yeah. Shayna Baszler led to the match being called off. Okay, yeah. Number I seven, okay. King Woods vs. Right. Ridge Holland, SmackDown, 46 seconds. Now, the feud between the New Day and the Brawling Brutes was a feud which seemed cursed. Their WrestleMania 38 encounter was moved to night two of the show due to the matches on night one going long. Then on night two, matches once again went long, meaning that the two teams barely got two minutes. Mm. This sucked for the two respective teams, but there was a trend with short matches throughout their feud, and this was evident when King Woods wrestled Ridge Holland in March on SmackDown. Woods would defeat Holland in just 46 seconds, making it the shortest men's match on SmackDown for the year 2022. <laughs> the thing Number about six... those type of, like I was saying at the beginning, when you do that, it, it just messes up. It messes up momentum. It messes up booking. Uh, like this, well, booking in a sense, because it's like, what's the point? You just beat somebody one half of the tag team in like under a minute. You know what I'm saying? So what's the point of even? You know, having some type of rematch, it, it kind of it messes up continuity, and that's the problem with uh, trying to make sure everything runs smoothly time wise for a wrestling show. If anything, in my opinion, I'm all for maybe rescheduling it because you want these wrestlers to be able to tell a story if it's meant for them to tell a story. I'm all for squash matches in a sense of when you're dealing with enhancement talents and you're trying to build up someone to be this next big star or this big threat but when it comes to like tag teams and stuff like that or you're trying to build a story or whatnot or maybe continue a few the squash matches and the, the quick roll-ups is it, it comes off as lazy booking that's all alexa bliss versus sonya deville on raw 40 seconds and the May 9th 2022 edition of Raw featured Sonya Deville being stripped of her authoritative power in WWE and following this, Deville would be forced to face a returning Alexa Bliss. Bliss would return in a convincing manner, yep, squashing Deville this. in just 40 seconds. <laughs> like it was Both Deville nothing, and Bliss bro. have had an interesting 2022. In relation to Deville, following a loss to Bliss in May, Deville would struggle to find a place on the card and has even tweeted her displeasure at a WWE booking. In relation to Bliss, she has spent the majority of her year as a babyface, but it looks like WWE may be revisiting her storyline alongside Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Number 5, been Veer been vs Sam Smothers been, on been Raw in that. 38 seconds. Veer has spent most of 2022 taking part in squash matches, yeah. and this list could be a comprehensive list of Veer's matches, but that wouldn't make for the most exciting list. Although they pushed Veer hard in 2022, it ultimately failed to get him over with the crowd and he yeah. was subsequently put on the creative sidelines. Veer's shortest squash match of 2022 took place on April 25th, and it was a 38-second victory over Sam Smothers. His presentation <laughs> throughout 2022 highlighted that the strong... Veer was just out there squashing people, and the crowd gave no reaction. Or they would give a little bit of reaction, but not much. It was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> presentation of monster heels in squash matches simply doesn't guarantee a wrestler will get over to the level WWE want them to. This is true. Number four, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey at Money in the Bank, 35 seconds. Yeah, the cash in. Now, there's a ton of debate as to whether a Money in the Bank cash in counts as an official match. Mm -hmm. However, WWE class it as an official match, so it counts when looking at the shortest matches of a respective year. Mm -hmm. Liv Makes Morgan sense. would win the women's Money in the Bank ladder match this year, and she would cash it in during the same night on Ronda Rousey. Morgan used to roll up on Rousey to win her first singles title in WWE in just 35 seconds. This was a huge moment for Morgan as she has been ready for a title run for some time now and she was finally getting it. Morgan's title run didn't live up to the fans' expectations nope, as she was presented as weak throughout her time as champion and she eventually dropped the SmackDown Women's title back to Rousey at the Extreme Rules event. Number and then she was supposed to go psychotic crazy but they didn't really follow up on that either. I don't know. I don't know. Once again, I'm all for her winning in the money in the bank, but I think she probably should have held it just a little bit more, teased that moment. And I think it probably would have, you know, that and in a combination of actually having her look credible 
you know. Maybe Ronda shouldn't have been the person she cashed it in on because when you really think about it, Ronda Rousey versus Liv Morgan on paper, you're not siding with Liv Morgan. You got to make it somewhat believable. So once they went with that feud, it didn't work. And it didn't help that Liv Morgan, her character didn't really intensify as much as it should have when you're facing someone that can legitimately probably snap you in half, you know? So it's a multitude of things why the, the championship run didn't go as well. It's not not blaming all, all of this on Liv. You know, I think a lot of it has to do with creative and timing. Number three, The Miz versus Dominic Mysterio on Raw, 30 seconds. The Raw after WrestleMania is traditionally the hottest Raw of the year. Yeah. 2022's edition of Raw after Mania featured one of the shortest matches of the entire year. The Miz took on Dominic Mysterio and The Miz squashed Mysterio in just 30 seconds, <laughs> following a skull-crushing finale. The match set up a return of Veer to WWE TV, which seemed to be the priority rather than giving Miz and Mysterio a mm -hmm. substantial match. The booking of The Miz hasn't been the best in 2022. He's been involved in storylines with the likes of Edge, Logan Paul, and even Dexter Loomis, but Miz is missing that killer instinct that was present when he was IC champion. Number two, Cedric Alexander versus Omos on Raw, 12 oh, seconds. Man. One of the more controversial booking decisions of 2022 saw Omos squash Cedric Alexander <laughs> on Raw. Omos, similarly, <laughs> Kavir has had extensive squash oh matches throughout God. 2022. Imagine you just getting squashed in 12 seconds, bro. I mean, granted, hey, easy payday, right? But damn, I, I feel like Cedric Alexander is a better talent that deserves a little bit, a little bit better on the card, not to be squashed in 12 seconds. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> Similarly to Veer, this list could have been made exclusively out of Omos's matches. This is true. Now, the reason why the match with Alexander was so controversial was because Omos squashed him in just 12 seconds. Alexander remains one of the most underrated stars in all of WWE. Yeah, and athletically, fans question why on fantastic. earth WWE were treating a former cruiserweight champion in such a poor manner. In relation to Omos, he struggled in 2022 to get over with the audience. Mm -hmm. He's worked with the likes of Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman and even had MVP as his manager, but he's still struggling to garner a crowd response. Yeah. Now in his defense, he's still relatively new to WWE mm -hmm. and seems to have a great attitude and ultimately seems like someone who can grow and evolve in the company. Hopefully he can. And number one, Aaliyah versus Natalia on SmackDown, three seconds. The shortest match in WWE history took place in the year 2022 as Aaliyah defeated Natalia in just three seconds. This match was completely unexpected and it certainly helped fans take Aaliyah seriously as one of the future stars of the company. They would turn the storyline into an angle which developed over the next few weeks and they would even produce merchandise promoting Aaliyah's record-breaking victory. Really, this record bro? is unlikely to ever be broken as naturally it would be next to impossible for a match to end in less than three seconds. So Aaliyah will always have that record under her belt for the rest of her career. Wow, I didn't but know that. It, folks. Dead ass. Did not know that. I did not know she has probably a record that would never be broken. That is insane because the time it would take for someone to roll someone up, count the pin, it, it would be over three seconds, bro. What the? Bro, that is wild. <laughs> Natalia is funny, bro. Natalia's been in the company for so long, bro. And just, I can just, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, they in the back, like, hey, Natalia, we want you to do this favor, do this job for Aaliyah, man. All right, so we're going to have a, you know, a, a hard fought match. And uh, afterwards, she's going to beat me. You know, is that going to be the situation? Maybe like 10, 15 minute match? No, 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 no. No. The bell is going to ring. She's going to roll you up. And then that's it. How fast y'all do it? It's up to y'all. Wait, what? All right, you're going out there in five, four. <laughs> that's so wild to me, bro. Three seconds? I did not know this. Did not know this. It wasn't on my radar because it's just like she has the record for the shortest match ever. And I don't think anyone's beating that. You would literally have to go in there. As soon as the bell ring, once the ref would have to do a fast count there. He would have to do a one, two, three. He would have to cheat. Uh who does that benefit? Yes, I get it, they build a few, but how, it's like when you think about it logically, why would I fight this person again if I beat them in three seconds? Now, granted, it was a roll up, so it's like, oh, you caught me slipping, but I don't even know how I would catch you slipping to roll you up in three seconds. 
I don't know. I mean, it's not even a finisher. It's just a roll up. No grabbing of the tights. No cheating. No using the ropes for leverage. Just a straight up roll up at 100%. You have all your special moves. Your bar is filled up. And you just lost. That's wild. Comment down below. Let me know what other squash matches uh, have you seen this year that you, it just it confused you, you to the point of where you were like, why did this match even happen? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.